Here comes the self-proclaimed juvenile delinquent. Liv Morgan, Ruby Riot, Sarah Logan, the Riot Squad made a shocking debut back in 2017, attacking many of the women in the SmackDown Live locker room, and they've gone on to great success in WWE. Well, Liv Morgan and her partners in crime love to turn any situation on its head. Well, you're looking at the future right here. WWE Universe, you are looking at a superstar who is simply blessed to be the best, just naturally better than everybody else, even when only doing the bare minimum. Well, you talk about some of that natural athletic talent, Corey. Bianca's been exceptional her entire life. She earned all SEC and all American honors in track and field at the University of Tennessee. And if you just ask her, she'll tell you why she's better than everybody else. You got eyes, Byron, you understand. A freak in the weight room, a beast in the ring. Bianca Belair could do it all. And she's got a lethal hair whip. This match just might set social media on fire. Oh, it's already trending. When you have competitors on the level of these women, you just wow. know it's going to be a great match. All right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, by now I'm sure you've heard Bianca Belair describe herself as the EST of NXT. Corey, what exactly does that mean? I'll break it down for you, Michael Cole. It simply means that Bianca Belair is the strongest, the fastest, the smartest, and the badest around. Corey, thank you for breaking down exactly what it means when Bianca Belair says she is the ist of NXT. But don't you think Bianca has a bit of an overinflated ego for somebody relatively new to the scene? Absolutely not, Saxton. Just ask top NXT stars like Candice LeRae or Lacey Evans if it was Belair's ego that beat them. Those were cases of Belair proving she truly is the ist of NXT. Impact. Face Buster. Oh, she's starting to take a beating. Well, this one appears far from over, and she knows that. You know, she's the kind of competitor that actually likes getting hit. It motivates her. And this might just be what she needs to put her over the top, believe it or not. Well, she's looked good up until now. She just has to make sure not to absorb too much punishment here if she wants. She goes for the cover. And she kicks out with relative ease. Yeah, it's going to take more than that. Ooh!
I gotta say, guys, Bianca Belair has wasted little time making a name for herself. I mean, from the minute she walked in the door, the entire women's division stood up and took notice. Drop down. Nailed it. Right across the back of the neck. She is on fire. As Byron mentioned, Bianca Belair's impact has been immediate. From her very first match in the 2017 May Young Classic, Bianca has been opening eyes. Yeah, and it's worth noting that in the first round of the May Young Classic, she gave up four inches in about... Liv Morgan sizing it up. Oh, nasty impact. That was simply amazing. Look at this. She releases the hold. That's a little surprising. No? Going to take a trip, gentlemen. Straight down to the 201 face breaker. This one's over. Okay. Here's the cover. Where is she finding the strength to continue? I can't believe what we're seeing here. Oh, man, she's rolling now. Here's Liv Morgan into the quick cover. The result this woman is showing right now is absolutely unreal. Not yet. And no luck against Bianca Belair there. She's looking at it. Harsh impact. And she goes for the cover. One, two, and she kicks out at two. Wow. Bianca Belair, big move coming. Here it comes, Michael. This might be it. Oh, my. And she looked like she had no chance just a few moments ago. She goes for the cover. One, two, three. And you could put this singles match in the books. Now let's take a look back at these ladies in action. Man, this was great. That's a woman on a mission. Man, oh man, look at that. Every single minute of this one was memorable. I don't make the matches, but if I did, I'd put these two back in the ring ASAP. What an amazing match. We've got an animated crowd here tonight, as we usually do when we're in Orlando.